Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys my new pet and also we are going to kick out a new series about reptiles. So I think you all can guess what animal I got. So yes, it's a leopard gecko. So this is Leo the leopard gecko. So it's morph. So let me explain you what is a morph. So morph is the coloration, so the basic or the original uh, classic uh, leopard gecko is actually pale brown with dark spots like this. So this is actually a mutation, so this mutation is called as uh, high yellow, so this is one of the cheapest mutation out there but itself costs uh, more than 200 so you can guess uh, the price of this. So I don't want to tell the price exactly because it can differ on your place and also the specimens that you bought. So this is a boy, so he's about 9 months now, so he's uh, reaching adult size right now, so you can see he's a very beautiful um, boy. So now he's in the process of taming because most reptiles don't like being handled, but you can tame them and also you can pet them if you want because some don't like them, so it's based on the individuals that you got. So other than that, this is one of the best beginner reptile out there so you can see it's kind of moving right now so let me put in my shirts so leo or my leopard gecko is very friendly actually so it tried to bite me but it bite also it won't hurt at all the ant bite is also more pain than the leopard gecko's bite because they don't have teeth at all they have but the tiny teeth won't do you at all the, they won't even get some blood in your body because they're just docile species so if you want to buy one means please go buy leopard geckos because they are one of the best beginner out there so some people might say hey if you want to try a reptile go pick your uh, house geckos or common geckos which are uh, will be uh, ruin, ruining in our your uh, house but please don't go get them because you cannot handle them some uh, may lost their tail because when you are catching them if you mistakenly uh, grab their tail means they will just lose their tail and they will run away so it's not good for them because it will take months to regrow the tail so if you want to try a new reptile means please go buy this uh, leopard gecko so you can buy the fat tail gecko also the fat tail gecko is much expensive than the leopards but you can try them also so other than leopard geckos you can still get um, mirror dragons but mirror dragons need a uh, UV light so which is a heat light so but the leopard geckos don't need them but if you give means it's very good for them because they prefer the warmer temperature to be more active and for the breeding purpose so if you want your gecko to be happy so please add a heat lamp so my enclosure I didn't add a heat lamp but I have uh, some car some sorts of uh, yellow light it's not specially made for reptiles but it's actually an aquarium light with what white light is a plum tank light but I'm now using temporarily because my light is uh, out of stock in the local stores so that's why I ordered and I'm still waiting for the light to arrive so the leopard geckos will just do fine without the light so don't be worried but other reptiles won't so the for example the uh, bearded dragons they need heat lamp to survive because they just trust on the heat lamps and the humidity level so but this species just don't need everything so you need to give them three high outs high out means something do they go under or uh, too high so it actually you must give them three so one is the dry dry the dry one the normal anything you can give like a uh, wood or uh, something like a grapefruit inside there so got some tastes or you can prepare some sorts of tupperwares put some holes in there and put some moss and you can just spray it is enough also so something like that three because they love them because they in the wild they live in the curvings of the rocks so it's better to give more hideouts than a single one because they just need some leisure hobbies because we all have a lot of activities to do by leopard gecko stone because it's just a small enclosure so now talking about the enclosure so you just need about 20 gallons or uh, 20 us gallons of water something like an aquarium or you can just get a specially made aquarium or a tank some basic enclosures for reptiles which are much more expensive than your normal aquariums but if you want to buy an aquarium do some DIY something like a merge net because 
these reptiles sometimes can get out but they don't have the sticky food like the normal house gecko or crescent geckos which are uh, they used to crawl on top of your walls so it's a very plus for this gecko because you don't need to be scared your gecko growth going around there and you cannot uh, catch it means it's very difficult because gecko sometimes move really fast so the hatchlings may run fast so please be sure so when i buy this there is also a hatchling with this so i didn't get the hatchling because it's a teeny tiny something somewhere like this it's not uh, really called as hatchling it's a juvenile so this is an adult so i took the adults because they are much more hardier than the juveniles because the juveniles is more docile and they easy to be threatened so i don't want to that happen but if you want long term but they, they always do a long term pet because they at least live for seven years so that's enough uh, for a uh, reptile uh, hobbies like me so other than that they're just great for beginners so there's no negative points at all because they just do fine the only problem is they just uh, they can drop their tail so if they drop means it won't it, it will regrow but it won't be so natural and also not so reflective like the old one which is the original so it has the bone inside that so if they regrow also it can do uh, some of the uh, deformance in there so it's not so good for them so if you want to buy or keep one means please do research before buy because they are animals too other than that for the feeding factor there are a lot of feeding uh, options which are crickets and mealworms so far i'm feeding the mealworms because crickets is out of stock and also if you want to feed your cricket means uh, pull out the legs of the crickets because the crickets uh, legs can injure their uh, eyes so if they poke their eyes they can even get blind so there are a lot of cases like that so i'm not a pro in the reptile hobby i'm just an aquarium hobby so maybe i'm an aquarius so this is just a new hobby for me so i'm collecting a lot of pets nowadays like the tarantulas i got even parrots so the parrots i haven't shown in uh, in our videos because it's been, I think it's been a month so I just give you an update on that because the parrots are not so expensive they just uh, I don't want to tell spoil in this video so the next video is going to be about the parrots so other than the other freshwater and marine aquarium so it's been a long while since I gave you guys an update of my freshwater and saltwater aquariums even the saltwater has been a long while because and uh, I think lastly a few months ago so they're just doing fine actually because uh, the aquariums are settled down, they are matured, so they're just doing fine in there, so I don't want to disturb them. But the aquarium is not looking so clean because of the algae growth, but the, my lawnmower plenty is just doing great, so I don't want to give an update right now. So in the next video, I think next to the next, because next, uh, as I promise, I'm going to give you the budgies. Oh my god, I spoiled it, just okay, one more better, I didn't tell yet. It's okay, I will give you the updates of the birds next. So, thank you for watching this video. In the next video, until then, this is Prime from Prime Animals with Leo the Leopard Gecko. Bye bye.